Welcome, I'm Brian Hayes. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the three different ways you can make a field required in Salesforce and explain the differences. Like many things in Salesforce, you've got multiple ways to get something done, but there's certain considerations you should keep in mind. So there are three ways that you can make a field required within Salesforce. You can either do that at the field level, at the page layout, or through a validation rule. So let's start by talking about how it works at the field level. If you click the gear in the upper right hand corner, you can click on edit object to get to the object manager for that specific object, and then click on fields and relationships. So let's say for example, that we wanted to make the SIC code field required. You can go to your list of fields and click into that field. And you'll see that under general options, there's a checkbox to make that field required. Now there are certain standard fields within the system that you can't make required in this way, but you can for custom fields. So if I edit this field, I can check that box and it is always required in order to save this record. Now I would use this method sparingly because it's gonna be required in all situations. You won't even be able to update it through the API unless there's a value in that field. And it's gonna be required at all times. It doesn't matter what other values there are on that record, this field SIC code must always have a value in it or you can't save it. The next option we have for making a field required is in the layout. If you click on page layouts and click into one of these layouts, you can see that we've got a little red asterisk next to some of these fields. Hover over the field you're interested in, in this case, SIC code, click that gear, and then you can check the box to make this field required and hit okay. Now this only applies in this particular page layout. So this allows you to have some layouts where the field is required and other layouts where it isn't, which you could then assign based off profile or based off record type. It also doesn't make this field required in the database. So if you're updating something through the API instead of through the user interface, it's not necessarily gonna be required. So this is a little bit more flexibility when it comes to making a field required, but it's still not context aware. It doesn't matter what the other values are on this record. It's gonna be required whenever a user is dealing with this particular page layout. I'm gonna uncheck that box. Then you hit save in the upper left. And then the third way you can make a field required is with validation rules. So a validation rule is just a formula. And when that formula equals true, it causes an error and it prevents that record from being saved. And so you can put a lot of advanced logic into these validation rules. But one thing you can easily check is to see if a field is blank. And you can do that with the is blank function or the is null function. So we'll say if our SIC code field is blank, then we want this validation rule to be true, which means it'll block you from saving the record. Let me hit insert here. So there's our is blank function, and then there's our field inside that function. So if this field is in fact blank, this formula will evaluate to true, and that will prevent you from saving the record, you know, making it required, essentially. The good thing about validation rules is you can add in a lot more complex logic. You can have it apply to only certain profiles, only certain users, or you can have it look at the other field values on that record. Maybe we want SIC code to be required once a lead is past a certain stage. And those are the three ways to make a field required in order of flexibility and complexity. Number one is at the field level, number two is at the page layout, and number three is with a validation rule. If you wanna learn more about validation rules and how to use them within your org, you should take a look at our free course on academy.rotive.io. Thanks for watching.